Hi everyone, it's Mitchell again from Rain and Paws back in Lisa Marvin's studio. Um, I'm being a little bit quiet this morning because everyone is still asleep. I'm going to give this watercolour bloom another go. Um, we're going out for the day. We're going to downtown Toronto, going for a little walk and just seeing what we can find. So I'm going to give this a quick go and see if I can make it happen. Um, so I'm just pouring over pieces that I've already done over the last couple of days. And the colours I'm using are Dioxazine Violet, or Dioxazine Purple. I've got Matisse Southern Ocean Blue, and then I have little this little piggy Constellation, Tail Feather, Sea Glass, Glisten, and Stuck Up Pigs, Hoity Toity. So lots of pigments. We're going to get some nice blown out petals, and we're going to see how this goes. So I'll take you down and we'll see what we can do. Okay, so here's the board. This is the painting I'm painting over. All the cells went really melty and warped, so... I'm not going to kick this one and I'm just using up some of the half empty bottles of Anchors Away here. This is a deep blue base. Now it is a risk using up some of these older bottles because they can get chunky and goopy. But out as we see them. So just continue pouring on paint until we've covered most of the surface. And we do want plenty of paint on these. Two of these cans should be enough. I do have one more if I need it. Right at the very end there, a little glue came out. Get out of there. Okay, and I'm being very careful not to get paint on me. I'm saying that, I should put on an apron. does not want to stay. The um, paint has really set in. It'll be fine. Okay, so uh, going on with my colours. So the first colour I want in the middle. I actually think I want glisten in the middle. So I'm just going to give these a little bit of a stir. And these are watercolour paints, or not watercolour paints, I should say, they're acrylic paints. But we've thinned them down quite a fair bit. Um, so they're not the one or two second trace. They barely have a trace when you pour them into the cup. Um, and the colour I want in the very, very centre, I think I want just a tiny bit of hoity-toity. So then I would like listen and then sea glass so these three colors are what we're going to see in the middle of our bloom then I would like the southern ocean blue just a little bit it could even be phthalo turquoise I could be lying about the southern ocean blue <laughs> <coughs> and then I have three more colors and you can see I'm putting a very very tiny amount of paint on each surface then I'm going to put tail feather constellation and I'm going to finish with my dioxazine purple under my side later. So yesterday, I did it how Lisa did it and put the phthalo turquoise under the cell activator, but I'm not a fan of how the gold, the whole bean, whole bind, royal gold, um, it made the phthalo turquoise go a yucky green color. 
We didn't like that, so I'm going to change it up just a little bit and put the purple on top. Now, I think in Lisa's one, she actually used a magenta. So let's see. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do it. Because there is just a hint of magenta in her one. But we're going to go with this. Okay, let's put our select later on. Just a tiny bit, and we're going to give it a really big blow. This is fantastic. This is what I want. Okay. I'm going to center this. I'm going to see if I can get a bloom with negative space because I actually like all of the petals on this, except for this one here where there was a little bubble. So I want to tilt the design a little bit, so I expand it this way. I don't have the same composition that Lisa did, but I am not mad at this at all.
I am so happy with this guys. I am really hoping this dries just how it is on here because this is fantastic. Can you see all of that? This is one of those moments where you go, oh, I'm very proud of myself. Those watercolor edges are fantastic. The sides look brilliant. Okay, so what I am going to do, I'm going to wipe my hands so I don't get any drips of paint in the way into the piece. Then I'm going to take my skewer and I'm just going to fix up this little part here. this one more big spin just to move everything get enough paint spun off There's nothing else flying off my canvas, so this is it. Look at that, that is fantastic. Oh, I'm so very pleased with this. Okay, I'm gonna put this one aside to dry and we'll come back when it's ready. This one might make a flight home to Australia and get some resin if it dries nicely. So, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Stay tuned to see what this one looks like. Bye. Alrighty, here is that piece I've just taken off the spinner. Look at how marvellous this is. Oh, that sparkle is ridiculous. Look at those beautiful flowy edges. So you only get that when your paints are quite thin. And when you blow deep into the pillow and blow it out nice and far. Look at this. That part is so pretty. Still got some cells, I am expecting them to melt. But that sparkle is incredible. Look at that center. Then I just realized I didn't add hoity toity further up in the pool. So I don't know if I'll see it, but let's see what happens when this is dry. As usual, guys, if you like what I'm doing, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.